Good morning, guys. Oh, wow, this has been a crazy morning. I got up, took Tyler to work, came home. The dentist called. I wasn't supposed to go till 3 o'clock today. The dentist called and asked if I could be here at 10 o'clock. And I said, yeah, that'd be fine. So I go home, I get a shower, get out of the shower, get ready. And I'm all ready to go, and I can't find the car keys. I, I, golly, Haley and I searched everywhere. We even whistled because they have that thing on there for when you, you can whistle and find your keys. It must not have been turned on. Anyways, I finally found them, and I have like, I have eight minutes left. I'm at the dentist office now, but I have eight minutes left before I have to be in there. But I came in the house after taking Tyler home and laid my stuff down and went to jump in the shower. Got my shower. Well, when I got out of the shower, I made up the bed. Guess where the keys were? They were laying on my pillow, on my first pillow, because I have, when I make up the bed, I have two pillows on my side. So they were in between the two pillows, made up in the bed. I thought I was going to be late. It's uh, just like, and I guess, I don't know, the whistle thing, I don't know if it was on or not. I never even checked. But this is crazy. It's been a crazy day. I have to go in here and get my teeth. Like, remember I was here the other day, and I have to go in here and get, like, the full x-ray to see how the rest of my teeth are doing and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm sitting here in the parking lot. I've got seven minutes left. So, I'm up bright and early. I'm tired. I didn't go to sleep till 4 a.m. But hopefully, you know, hopefully I'll be okay. I mean, I'm sure I'll be okay. Hopefully I don't have to take a nap because then I might not go get Tyler. But we'll figure it out. All right. Well, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's just been a crazy morning. I haven't even had a cup of coffee. So, I'll get one when I leave the dentist or by that time I'll just get me a Dr. Pepper because I love my Dr. Pepper. Love my Dr. Pepper in the morning. All right guys I'm still feeling all I'm stuffed up so bad and my my chest and I've been using the breathing machine and um my inhalers and I just hope I don't have to go back to the hospital. I don't want to go back to the hospital but we'll see what happens. Just pray for me. I appreciate it, and I love you guys, and I will see you in a little while. Bye. Where's my ears? Where's my ears at? Oh, my ears. Stop. Look at Angie's eyebrows. Haley's doing them. She's not even making a video. I just walked in the door. It's like, what the heck? That I'll make a video. Looks pretty good. Let's see the other one. I haven't done the other one yet. Oh, now you're all blurry. So we're gonna check it out and see what it looks like when she does the like other it. one. No, actually the one looks really good. That one looks really good. Does it? The other one looks really funny. You're well, I have a scar on the other one, so it messes up my eyebrows. She's got my ears on, guys. Oh, they're actually mine. <laughs> well, look at you. Holy macaroni. Don't get too close. Oh, your eyes. You're gonna see the line of my fake eyelashes you're that I didn't get Oh, you got well. the fake eyelashes on. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. That's really cool. And that the fake eyelashes, who got you? Jess from Illinois. So, shout out to Jess. She loves them. What if we got you that eyeshadow? Is that my eyeshadow? No, it's mine. Wow. It's from the palette that she got. Oh, it's from the palette. Don't go so close. I'm not. I was just trying to look at the one eye. I don't want you seeing my pores. Oh, okay. Well, shout out, huh? Mm -hmm. You like it all? Mm -hmm. You look really good. Thanks. Wow. All right. I'll film more when they're... Get closer to done, I guess. So what all do you use, Haley? A lot. Let's see what all you got there. She's used all of her makeup. Here's the extra lipsticks that are extra colors. I was gonna give Aunt Shirley. I was gonna give Aunt Shirley one too. Let's see what Angie looks like. Wow, that's crazy. What a difference. Like this. You see the highlight? You see the highlight? I see the highlight. It looks really good. You see it? I did a really good job. You look like you're being prissy. I was a little bit. Do you hear me working myself though. up? I did not so much look so that much of a different. prissy person, but it does look very different. Wow, amazing! Close your eyes. Amazing. Look how pretty. That looks like Haley's eyes. Wonder why? Did she get it from her mama? <laughs> looks really good. 
Wow, Haley, you did an excellent job. Thank you. I look like a different Now, girl. everybody wants Haley to... Now I need to straighten my hair. Everybody wants Haley to do a makeover on me again, but use bold colors. So, can that be in the near future? Oh, wow, yeah. That's the boldest colors I have. I don't have any other bold colors. I look awful today. Look at me now. The glasses hide it all. It I look so awful today. Good. You should wear a highlighter, Mom, because it looks really good. She looks really good. Do your face. We just gotta stay mom. happy. Happy, happy. Look how pretty Haley made her mommy. She made me pretty one day, too. So hopefully I can get her to come to the boys home from school. Hopefully I can get her to do a bold makeover on me. Also, am I blurry? Also, I'm gonna get her to do a makeover on Aunt Shirley. Hi, Tyler. How was school? Good. Hi, Marcus. Say hi to the fans. Come look at your mommy. Go look at your mom. What do you think? Is she beautiful? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, mom's gonna film you guys opening that. Don't open it yet. Mom's gonna film you guys opening that. Put it on her channel. Mom's gonna straighten her hair and then we'll do that. Ah, uh, yeah. Louie's gonna get him. On. Give him a kiss, Louie. Give him a kiss. On. Give him a kiss. Shine's on. I don't it's upstairs it. charging. Thank you. I just put it on the charger. <laughs> All right. Bye. Hello, guys. Um, I got out of the dentist. You're never gonna believe what the dentist said. I mean. I went in there because I cracked two teeth when we were running from that hurricane. And I get out of the, I go to the dentist and they do some x-rays and he tells me that that the teeth are not savable. They have to pull the two teeth. That's fine, okay. I figured one of them's way back here and it's cracked and the other one's just right not far from it. So that was all fine and dandy. Then he like comes comes back in and he says, um, I think all of your top teeth are bad. I think you should just get dentures. I'm like, are you crazy? I'm not getting dentures. And he just kept pushing it and kept pushing it. And I said, well, why can't you just put a filling in the one tooth and maybe fix the crack? Well, they can't. They got to pull it out. He's trying to talk to tell me that I need to have all my teeth. My teeth don't look that, not my bottom teeth. He just said my, my top teeth. He says, your insurance won't pay for you to, um, for us to fix your teeth, so you might as well just have them pulled out and have dentures, because your insurance will pay for that. Well, that's just absurd. My teeth don't hurt, neither, both of the cracked teeth, neither one of them hurt. I'm just, I was shocked. Oh, I'm burning up. I had to turn the air off so it didn't make noise. Let me get closer. So, I need dentures? Come on. I mean, my teeth aren't perfect, but... They're fine. They don't hurt. I'm not going to have all my teeth pulled out and put dentures on the top gum. And my palate on the top of my, uh, up, up on the top, most people's are flat or they suck up a little bit. I have an extra bone, they said, and it comes down. So I have like, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, I don't know how to explain it. The bone comes down in the top of my mouth and it comes down pretty far so he says you'll have to have that bone cut out and then you'll have to have dentures put in like <laughs> I just looked at him like he was crazy and then when the doctor left the room the um the guy I guess he was uh, the dental assistant or whatever he says off the record he says you might want to get a second opinion. I'm thinking, you, you think? That was just crazy. I went in there for two teeth that cracked while I was running from the hurricane. And they want to take all my top teeth out and give me dentures. I'm like, there's no way. There's no, And cut the bone out of the top of my mouth. I don't know what that bone is. Nobody else in my family has it. It comes down. It comes down about that much. It's like, you know how, well, I guess... Fill in your mouth. Put your tongue up there, and if it, see if it's smooth. Mine's not smooth. Mine is mine is humped, so mine's like kind of like this, but this way, coming downwards. I don't. I don't even have. I'm not even explaining it right. I just was like freaking out. I was like, 
I, don't, I was ready to cry. Actually, I think I did have some tears in my eyes. I'm like, you know, so many things have gone wrong since I moved to Florida. And now I'm going to go to the dentist for two cracked teeth and that don't even hurt yet. Thank God. Um, neither one of them hurt. So I'm going to go to the dentist for this. And they're going to tell me that they need to pull all my top teeth out and give me dentures. Only because my insurance won't cover to... Um, I put caps on them or whatever. So it's like, and my teeth don't look that bad. I'll, I'll deal with my teeth. I mean, when I when I lose my two front teeth, then I'll fit, then I'll do something. But I mean, I have enough teeth in my mouth that, you know, if they have to pull out those two that cracks, neither one of them hurt. So they're saying they have to pull them out. But right now, they don't hurt. So I think, you know, the back one that cracked it. It's not as sharp as it was when it first cracked, or maybe I'm just used to it. I'm not sure. Um, so I don't know. I'm just like, and he says, "Oh, your bottom teeth are okay." He says, "But um, you need you need a filling on one of your teeth on the bottom, and um, your insurance don't cover that either." He said, "$179. I have that in writing. $179 for a filling." I'm like, "That tooth don't hurt either." <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I was just, I don't know. It's crazy, you know, because your insurance don't cover. They want to pull all your teeth out and give you fake teeth. That's just, it's, 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 I hope you guys are laughing with me because that is crazy. I'm like, well, I'm just going to stick with what I got. And they don't hurt right now. I ain't even going to worry about them. Because unless I go get another opinion or go someplace that's going to, you know, go off a sliding income scale or something that could maybe fill my tooth, my, that tooth don't even hurt. But I just wanted to have them teeth checked out. I thought, you know, maybe they could put some filling in between them and the crack would be fine. But obviously not. Down in Florida, they want to pull all your teeth out and give you fake teeth. And I don't think I'm down for that right now. At least not right now. You know, I have teeth. So... I don't know. I just, I have to laugh about it because when I come out, I mean, I, I had tears in my eyes. I'm like, you know, so many things that my eye socket, they can't pull my teeth. They have to cut them. I have to go to oral surgeon because of the eye socket. You know, when I had the eye blow out, my skull behind my eyeball is still cracked. So they can't pull them teeth out. They would have to cut them teeth out. So I would not only have to have my teeth cut out, all of my teeth cut out because they can't pull none of them. I would have to have that thing in the top of my gum or the top of my mouth, the bone cut because the bone is crooked or tilted or circled or whatever. I don't know. I just, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I've always hated my teeth. I've always thought I had the ugliest teeth, but you know what? They don't hurt. So I ain't not going to worry about my teeth. I'm just... It's it's crazy. I got too much else to worry about than my teeth. So, I don't know. I went home. Well, I, yeah, I went home and um, Haley was doing her mom's makeup, which was pretty cool. And looked really, really good. She was doing some bold colors on her mom. She had bold colors on herself. Looked really pretty. So, I filmed that. And you guys, I'll, I'll show that here in this video. Um... But, yeah, I just thought that was funny as heck, you know. You're, you're Because the insurance will pay for dentures and pay for your teeth to be pulled, but it won't pay. And he and I said, well, that doesn't even make sense because don't dentures cost a whole lot of money? And he's like, well, they think for the long run. He says, if they pull all your teeth out and they pay, they pay for your teeth to be pulled out and pay for your dentures, you won't have to have any more, any more um, teeth work done. So they'll never have to pay again. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you guys? I mean, I go in for two bad teeth and they want to take all of them out. Whoa, I was just like, wow. Crazy. Oh, so I'm here to get Tyler from work. Um, just, I got to laugh about it because, you know, I've been sad. I've been sad a lot lately. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life and... I've been sad, and I've just decided that I, I I can't be sad no more. I just I have to I have to try to get happy, and I have to do what is best for me and my family. 
you know, and I don't know if that's moving back to Maryland. I'm still thinking about it. I mean, I, yeah, if I had money to go, I might go. Um, Haley wanted to go up for her birthday in December, but, you know, I don't know that that would even be in the budget. But for now, um, I don't know. When her mom was living up there, it wasn't no big deal. You know, I could just put her on a plane because you can get cheap plane tickets. And her mom could pick her up and it wasn't like somebody had to go with her. But now, her mom's here. So, if she went up, she'd be staying with a friend. And uh, I'd have to go with her. Plus... You know, I kind of want to go back. I kind of want to go in the winter because then I'll see why I don't, why I wanted to move away from there because I couldn't stand the cold. But I don't know. I don't even know if that is in the future. I will see. But anyways, I um I wanted to share that dentist thing with you guys because that is just crazy. I mean, crazy. What do you guys think? Crazy? Yeah. Go to the dentist for a tooth broken tooth and they will take all your teeth out I just shoo, what did I get myself into I broke my tooth remember I said I broke my tooth on a butterfinger I was reminded that it wasn't a butterfinger it was candy cigarettes them damn cigarettes candy cigarettes is what I broke my tooth the one tooth the other one I did have a butterfinger but the first, the, the one that broke first, we were pulling into Charlie's house in Pensacola because we had, when we were running from that hurricane and we were going down that, that orange road or that rusty looking road and I was eating them candy cigarettes and they were hard. But when I first ate one, I thought I ain't eating them no more because they're hard, but I used to love candy cigarettes. I still love candy cigarettes. Usually they're not that hard. And then the next thing I know, I'm eating them candy cigarettes again, driving down that road. And I'm like, oh shoot, what the hell is this? And it was my tooth. A piece of my tooth broke off. So yeah, my back tooth is pretty bad, but it's not hurting. So why fix something that ain't hurting right now, I guess. So I don't know. I just want to share that with you guys. And I don't know if I'm getting into anything this evening or not. I don't know. I want to talk to Tyler when he gets off work. He's I'm just here at his work now. It's it's 5.03. I'm just sitting here waiting for him. We got a couple. We only have like two or three, I think. I think there's only two two vehicles here. And the gate's still wide open, so anybody can come pulling in if they wanted to. I just seen one of them pulled in. There was only one here, and another one pulled in. So, I want to talk to Tyler and see what he thinks. So, what did you guys think about the pet cemetery we're going back we're going to try to do EVPs there so we'll see how that turns out I don't know what we'll get we may get an owner that has already passed also and is there with their with their pet so I think it would be neat as if we heard some barking or some meowing in the EVP box that would be the coolest thing ever um, even if we couldn't understand it it would be really cool and I believe that one of our investigations, I want to say, hmm, I want to say it might have been at the, that church, or I can't remember. It might have been at one of the houses that we went to. I want to say that it might have been at the at the Saxon Manor that we heard a cat meow. So that you know, that's kind of cool. So Angie and I are going to go and see what we get. I mean. You never know until you try something. And it's definitely something different because nobody else has ever tried that. So, hopefully, nobody takes my idea and runs with it. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I love you guys. Thank you guys all for the prayers. And um, I was really, really, I, I've been depressed for days. I'm sure you've seen it in my videos. I'm so sorry. I, I'm normally not like this. I'm normally the happy go merry person. It's just so many things are going on in my life that I'm not going to talk about. That's, you know, it's personal. It's, it's really not something you should throw out on YouTube anyways. But there's a lot of things going on that are just not, they're not right. But it's alright and 
It'll, everything will work out. God will make a way for me. I know God will. So, I will talk to you guys soon. I love you. Peace. Bye, guys. Guys, you're never going to believe what Tyler just did. He gets in the car and he says, he's got this bucket and he says, I got the kids a little play toy. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm looking in this bucket. There's a snake in there. He's crazy. I made him take it out of the car and now he's over there helping his buddy load something up. I'm like, you're crazy. It's a snake. Oh my God. Help me. So now... I, I don't know what he's doing. That snake needs to go. I hope it crawls out of the bucket. It's just a little teeny thing, but I don't want no snake at my house. Oh my gosh, he's crazy. He knows how terrified I am of snakes, and he gets a snake. It's a little slivery thing. I'm going to kick his butt. Somebody come help me kick his butt. Thinks I want a snake. Wait till he gets back to this car. I'm going to film him. You'll see. He's over there helping his buddy. I don't want no snake. Look at that thing. What is it? It's a ring neck. What the heck's the ring neck? That's all the bigger they get. That sucker looks like he's gonna jump up here. He can't. He's oh been, my! He's been in the container all day. Gosh, what are you gonna do with these? I'm gonna put him in the little aquarium. Oh my! Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. He's not gonna stay inside the house though. He's gonna stay outside. Tyler, I hate snakes. Sir, we had one before, and you liked it. When did we have a snake? The earthworm snake I found when I was working for Joel. Oh, you! Oh my God. Bye. Bye, Tyler. Bye. I'm leaving. I don't want a snake. Bye. Give him a kiss. Hello, everyone. Haley and I are going to go out and get something to eat. We're going to bring Tyler home something. Tyler got off work. I picked him up, and he, he brought that snake home. I made him put it. He's got it in a little cage, and he's got it on the back porch. Um, told me he couldn't bring it in the house. I don't want no snake. I'm scared of snakes. So he let Marcus hold it. He bit Marcus. I'm like, oh my gosh. I hope it's not deadly. He swears it's not. But anyways, it's in a um, little cage. I'll show it to you guys later. But Tyler was just too tired. He's like, just pick me up something from the dollar menu on the way home. So he gave us a little bit of money. And Haley and I are going to go and get something to eat. Um, so I guess we'll see you when we get there. Right, Haley? Yep. Yep. All right, guys. See you when we get there. Peace. How about the fries, Haley? We got some loaded French fries, bacon and cheese. Yum. Delicious. She don't want to be on camera. No, she don't care. Right, Haley? Peace. It looks blurry. Lasagna. What'd you get? Ravioli. Ravioli looks just, looks just like my lasagna. Lasagna and ravioli. Yummy? It's really noisy in here, so we're just kind of enjoying ourselves. It's really nice to have a peaceful, peaceful, well, it's noisy in here, but it's not our, our people noisy. So we're having a nice dinner, enjoying ourselves. And we're blurry, because it's dark. Bye. Susie's Grill, that's where we ate. It's really good. I had lasagna. I had lasagna, and Haley had ravioli. It was really, really good. So we have to stop at the dollar store, and then we're going home. So we'll see ya. Dinner was great. Bye. Hello guys. Haley and I had a nice dinner. She's really tired. Tyler stayed home. There's my Lolo. 
and um, we brought Tyler home something to eat. But I had a nice dinner and I had a nice time with my sweet baby girl here. Did you have fun? She's like so tired and ready to go to sleep. So we're gonna go. That's all for tonight. I love you guys and thanks for watching. Bye. Ooh, can we see us? You're zoomed in, remember? Oh, I'm zoomed in. <laughs> Way zoomed in. Ooh, where is it going? I see my lips. Hello, everyone. Haley and I are gonna go get something to eat. Tyler got off work and he's like, he didn't feel like going nowhere. And he's he's just, cut that part. Cut the whole fucking. <laughs> that, that just sucks, get rid of that shit. I can't. Yeah, you can. I can't use that for a blooper. Yes, you can. I can't. Yes, you can. Okay. You ready? No. You're gonna say, what's up? Uh, Hello, everyone. Got Tyler from work. We got home. And he's like, what am I supposed to be saying? I done screwed this one up, too. Cut that part, too. I got sun like right at my nose, right right on my nose. <laughs> I thought you said right up my nose. I didn't know that could happen. Get in the, just sit back. I won't put it on you completely. But this is the... So, 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 so I'm doing it again. I hate that. I'm always like, so, How many times so, that? so. Cut that part. Cut the whole dang video. I'll be laughing my ass off when I do that video. <laughs> Ooh. You click Taylor when you do that. Taylor does that thing all the time. Taylor Swift? No! What face? Cousin Taylor. She does like that this? face all the time. Little Taylor? Yes. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Uh -huh.